Shalom. Let me start by giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and others, great millstone, peace and mercy to the house of David. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, who this world refers to as Jesus Christ. Bahasham is in the name. Rakaha Kodash is the Holy Spirit. And also shall I want to the 144,000 men that's laboring in this truth for the sake of Yahweh Bashmi Shai. And shall I want to the innumerable multitude, men, women, and children, that may be listening in all truth and sincerity shall I want. And this is your brother Kodash coming back here with another video to the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai. All right, and the title of this video, Lord Willing. Something around the essence is that we trust in the Bible. All right? We trust in the Holy Bible. Okay? And that's that's where we get, you know, our understanding. You know, well, we really get our understanding ultimately from Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai. Alright, the Spirit, the Holy Spirit being put upon us, you know, the angels opening up our minds to understand these scriptures. Okay, but we follow after these scriptures. All right, but let me just start here. Uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 16. Let me actually start at. Let me actually start at 14. This is 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 14. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of, and knowing of whom thou hast learned them. You know, so we got to continue, you know, thus those of us that are in the, in the doctrine, you know, the correct doctrine that was given to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, okay, we got to continue in the things that we have learned. All right, and there are things that we have been assured of, okay? Because scripture says, you know, you know, to search the scriptures, whether the things be so, you know. So we we've been assured of these things. It says, and knowing of whom thou hast learned them, okay? We're learning from men of the Lord, man. All right, you know, great examples, okay? In verse fifteen, it says, in that from a child. Thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith, which is in Hamashiach Yahushai. You know, the scripture says, you know, from a child, thou, thou hast known the holy scriptures. Okay, you know, so we got to. We got to stay in this thing, you know, it says, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation. Through faith, which is in Hamashiach Yahushua, you know, and and in this truth, you know, we became as little children, you know, when we first came into this truth, you know. And uh, let me go to the next verse here. Verse sixteen says, "All Scripture." It says, "All Scripture is given by inspiration of the Mosai." And is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction and in righteousness. You see? So these scriptures are, are the instructions on how to be righteous. You know, they say in the world, basic, uh, basic in instructions before leaving earth. Okay, but this is these are the instructions on how to be righteous. All right? Because in the Christian... And that's how you know these Christian churches ain't got it, man. Because in the Christian church, they don't teach you how to be righteous. You know? All they say is love Jesus. All right, and you're going to be delivered, man. But the Bible teaches us how to be righteous, man. Okay? You know, we're not following after, you know, the ways of America. All right? Because we know off studying the scriptures that the ways of America is complete opposite to the Bible. You know, these people trust in the vaccine, all right? They trust in uh, in the doctors, 
okay? They trust they trust in uh, witchcraft, all right, these pharmaceutical drugs, okay? Trust in the Lord, man, all right? Lean upon the Lord, okay? Because the Lord says, the Lord didn't say to get a to get a uh, to get a vaccine, man. And now you you're a complete dumbass for getting it, cause now, all right, you know now they they're saying that the mandate, you know, uh, the vaccine mandate is over with, man. So now you people did that for for nothing, man. Okay, you, you you've been bamboozled, you've been fooled. I'll read that again. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. You know, so all these scriptures are by the inspiration of Yahweh Shemuel Shah. You know, and it says, is and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction and in righteousness, man. Okay, so you want to be righteous, you got to follow out the, you know, the, this Bible. Okay, the law, statutes, and commandments, man. It says, verse 17, that the man of God may be perfect. Thoroughly furnished unto all good works, man. So when you follow after these scriptures and not after man, all right, you're going to be uh, thoroughly furnished, man, unto all good works. It says that the man of Yahweh Shemuel Shai may be perfect. You see, so we're striving to be perfect by following these, uh, by following these scriptures, man. You know, this is how we direct our path, man. You know, there's really, really the Lord said, uh, scriptures say the Lord, he directed our paths, you know, but this is how we, you know, because what, what the scriptures do say that, uh, that man deviseth his steps, but the Lord directed his path, you know, so we devise our steps, you know, our thinking process is start out of, uh, these scriptures, man. All right, let me get the book of, uh, Psalms. Psalms 119, and let me start at verse 1. We'll start at verse 102. Psalms 119, verse 102. It says, I have not departed from thy judgments, for thou hast taught me. How sweet are thy words unto my taste. Yea, sweeter than honey to my mouth. And that's how these scriptures got to be. These scriptures got to be sweet to you, man. Okay? You know, you got to love these scriptures, man. You got to be obsessed. Okay? Give diligence to make your calling and election sure. You know, we got to be obsessed with this truth, man. Always meditating upon these scriptures. You know, wisdom meeting you at every thought. You know, if wisdom not meeting you at every thought, you're not in the spirit. You know, you should be judging all things, you know, based off these scripts. And verse uh, 104 says, through thy precepts, I get understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way. So through these precepts, that's how we get understanding. OK, you don't go you don't go into uh, into college. OK, uh, University of uh fucking Yale or Princeton, you don't go there to get understanding, man. Okay, you go, you go to, you really go to the prophets to get this understanding. Okay. You know, the Israelite man, you go to the Israelites to get these understandings, man. All right. And even to trim it down more, you go to the elect. Okay. And the elect, you know, we believe through faith. You know, all these other camps is going to have the elect members, you know, so really, but you got to go through the apostles and the elders, man. All right. You want this raw, un un unadulterated truth, all right, this truth that's going to save your soul, you got to come under the apostles and elders of, of Great Millstone, man. Okay. Learn the, learn the doctrine. Okay. Because there's no flaws. It says, through thy precepts, I get understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way. Okay, so through the precepts, we get the understanding that sex isn't, isn't allowed on the Sabbath. All right, through thy precepts, we get understanding, you know, that the uh, that Friday and Saturday is not the Sabbath. Okay, through thy precepts, we get understanding that the MOTB, okay, is the RFID chip. Okay, 
through thy precepts, this is how we get understanding. You know, that's why it says in Isaiah uh, 39, you know, precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little and there a little, man. Okay, this is how this is how you get the understanding. It says, therefore I hate every false way. It says, uh, verse one hundred five. It says, none. It says, thy word. It says, thy word is a lamp unto my feet, and a light unto my path. See, this word is a lamp unto our feet, man. This is, this is giving us a uh, direction on where to go, man. All right, the wisdom of this of these of these scriptures. You know, and let me jump back to the top here. Psalms 119 and verse one, it says, blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the law of Yahweh Bashim Shah. Blessed are they that keep his testimonies and that seek him with the whole heart. OK, you got to seek Yahweh Bashim Shah with our whole mind, man. OK, you can't half step. Okay, you gotta, you gotta be uh, full fledged, you know, with his truth. Okay, you can't be uh, straddling a fence, you know, half in, half out. Okay, it's either that you're uh, fully uh, invested into this thing, okay, or you're not, man. All right, it's either you're fully invested or you're not. Okay, and we're trying to be fully invested okay we gotta uh we're, we're trying to lay down our life we're not you know still still trying to be famous in this world still trying to be known in this world all right and, and still trying to push this truth man you know like niggas like uh brandon t jackson okay that's why niggas like that they can't get it man because they they're not uh seeking the lord with their whole heart Okay, they're straddling the fence, still trying to profit, you know, trying to make money off this truth, man. You know, why do you think Yahweh Shai went in that storehouse and started breaking shit up, man? Because niggas was trying to, niggas was trying to um, turn the house of, of, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai into a house of fucking merchandise, man. All right, this thing is not about money. Money won't save you. Okay. Scriptures say in uh book of Proverbs, money is a defense, man. You know, the scripture says, give me neither neither poverty nor riches, man. But all you people want is riches, man. And uh from there, let me get This is, uh, let me see where I can start. One second here. I'm just going to get John... St. John 17. But let me see where I want to start at here. One second. All right. St. John 17. I'm going to start at verse... We'll start at verse 14. St. John 17, verse 14. I have given them thy word, and the world have hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Speaking of the elect. And it says, I pray not, I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. 
they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. You know, so we're going to suffer the same things as Yahweh Shah has suffered. You know, preaching the word of God, you know, not doing any harm to people, but still being persecuted and still being hated. All right. Why? Because of the words that we're speaking. All right. The words of the Lord is power. It's like fire and it's going to devour the wood. OK, you people are wood. It says they are not of the world. Yes, it says even as I am not of the world, sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. So these scriptures is truth, man. All right, it says sanctify, purify them through thy truth, man. So this word is making us pure, man. You know, and uh, that's why the elect is referred to as virgins, man. In their mouth was found no guile because there's no lie in the truth. You see? So we're being sanctified, purified through this truth. Okay? It says, thy word is truth. You know, going back to Proverbs 30 and 5 as well. All words of the... Let me just pull it real quick. It's a quick precept. Proverbs uh, 30 and 5. Every word of Yahweh is pure. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. See, the Lord, he's going to protect us, you know, from this from this evil world, man. All right, because this present world is evil, man. Okay, but, you know, but through the faith, through trust in Yahweh Shemiel Shai, you know, the Lord is going to protect us. You know, like it says in the book of Psalm 91. And, um... Let me get this one here as well. Romans chapter 10. I'm going to start at verse 13. It says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. How then? How then shall they call on him and whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? All right. So let me just read this again through these questions on the fourth verse, fourteenth verse, Romans chapter ten, verse fourteen. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? Okay, so you can't, you're not calling on, you can't call on Yahweh by Shem Shah if you don't believe. Okay, and it says, and how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? That's why you have the uh, the prophets out. Okay, on the highways and byways, telling you people. You know who the Lord is, what's his name, and what's he what he's all about. Okay. It says, and how shall they hear without a preacher, man? So that's why in these last days the Lord has given us uh the scripture says, pastors according to mine heart. Okay, telling you about his son. Okay. And telling you about the Heavenly Father, man. Because clearly you people don't know his son. You don't know the Heavenly Father. You know, that's why the Lord is bringing his men out to tell you people about the Heavenly Father. Okay, and the elect is going to hear, the, is going to hear, all right, my sheep hear my voice. The elect is going to hear the voice of the Lord through his men. It says, verse 15, And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of that preach the gospel of priests, the Pete Salaki, I butchered that, as it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. You know, so how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace, man? Okay? You know, and Lord willing, we preaching, you know, this correct doctrine of peace. You know, for in verse 16, it says, but they have, but they have not all obeyed the gospel for Isaiah saith, Lord, who have believed our report, you know, so these people aren't, aren't going to believe, man, but should you, should you care? Should that bring you down, stress you out? No, man, because the faith is, uh, it says, for what is something I believe shall the faith of God uh, with the, uh, let me just send Romans here. 
Romans 3 and 3, it says, For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? You know, God forbid, man. So it doesn't, you shouldn't give a damn if these people don't believe. The fact that these people don't believe, they are fulfilling prophecy. You are fulfilling prophecy, not believing in these scriptures, man. Okay? You're fulfilling prophecy, you know, by saying, oh, I don't think God, I don't think God mind if I eat pork or shrimp. You're fulfilling prophecy, man. All right, those that have loathed the law of Yahweh by Shemi Shai, man. You know? And these people are going to continue to fulfill, fulfill prophecy, you know, by taking that chip, you know, continue to obey uh, the devil, continue to obey Satan, okay? Because you people don't have, you don't have that light to follow. You know, you don't have that lamp under your feet to guide you where, to where to go. And verse 17, Romans 10 and 17 says, So then faith, I'm going to read 16 again, actually. It says, But they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah saith, Lord, who have believed our report? So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of Yahweh by Shemiah Okay, so this faith, it's going to come by hearing, man. So you so we have to we have to preach this gospel, man. Okay? Willingly, man. Like a like the apostle Paul said, you got to preach this thing willingly, man. Now now by constraint or none of that, man. It says so, so faith coming by hearing. It says and hearing by the word of God. Okay? So it's, it's up to Yah by Shmuel Shah for you to hear. Okay, cuz yeah, we all got ears, but the scripture says, those that have ears to hear, let them hear. So you got to have these spiritual ears, all right? Because ears of this world, so to speak, you know, you're not hearing this thing, man. It doesn't It doesn't resonate within your, within your spirit, okay? Because this is ancient knowledge, man, okay? And only the elect... You know, is gonna uh, is gonna take heed to this ancient knowledge, cause you know, Lord willing, we part of that number. We was the one taking heed back then. Spirit of the prophets is subject unto the prophets, man. Verse eighteen, Romans ten and eighteen. But I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily, their sound went into all the earth. And the words unto the unto the ends of the world. You see, so that's the point, man. All right, you know this word is going out. This word has to be, this has to be the vocal point, you know, of your life. These scriptures, man. Okay, if you don't wake up thinking about these scriptures, you know, on your way when you get off work. You know, wanting to do a lesson. You see something spiritual, and I got to do a lesson on that. Apostle Tara was speaking about that, man. Okay? Wisdom shall meet us at every thought, you know? So, you got to you gotta use these scriptures to guide you, man. The Lord, because the Lord, he's going to be a God of them that keep his, that keep his precepts, man. Scriptures talk about the laws being a lamp and a lamp. Uh, it gives you light so you can see where you're going. And the fear of the Lord, man. So all these tie in. This got to be, you know, this got to be where you where everything uh, lies at, man. This this is the power source right here, man. You see? So with that, you know, Lord willing, this video is edifying. I'm going to close, give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechah, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and others, great millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David. And to the next lesson, I say Shalom and the Baba Ball. Shalom.